the next problem statement is to find lcm of two numbers using recursion so here i am taking hash include stdo.h standard input output header file next this is non void function with parameters int lcm of int comma int now within the main i am going to initialize a variable a b and result enter the values of a and b scan f percent ld percent ld these are the format specified for integer address of a comma address of b result equal to lcm of a comma b so this is also an example for call by value so we are calling directly the values of a and b now immediately from here the control jumps to the function definition so in the function definition int lcm of int a comma int b so here i have not given any identifiers so you can directly take the identifiers provided the only one condition is the identifiers whatever you are going to take they should be of same data type so here i am taking static the reason why i am taking static is it should be initialized only once and for every function call the value should be from that particular instance that is the reason i am taking static int equal in temp equal to 1 so in the if part that is the base case here what i am writing is i am going to find the common multiples common multiples of the two numbers common multiples of two numbers else i am just incrementing temp value by 1 and i am going to call again the recursive function call so here this step is a recursive function call okay now let me give the uh, input and check whether i am going to get the proper output or not so enter the values of a and b let me give the values of a and b as 2 and 3 now let us trace this code internally and check how we are going to get this particular output now what are the uh, factors or the multiples of 2 multiples of 2 are 2 4 6 8 10 multiples of 2 are 2 4 6 8 10 and so on multiples of 3 3 6 9 12 and so on so out of these two which is the common one out of these two which is the common and it is least that is 6 that is the reason we got this output 6 now let us trace internally 2 comma 3 lcm of 2 comma 3 now here in the place of a the value is 2 in the place of b the value is 3 a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 static in temp equal to 1 initially temp value is 1 now if temp that is 1 mod 2 double equal to 0 and 1 mod 3 double equal to 0 so here 1 mod 2 is 1 the reason is 1 uh, cannot be divided by 2 so it will be 0 that is 1 mod 2 the remainder will be 1 is 1 double equal to 0 false if the condition is failed then it will never go for the if part now your control directly goes to the else part in the else part temp plus plus now what is the value of temp temp will become 2 temp will become 2 and next lcm of a equal to 2 and b equal to 3 now again recursive function call so we are calling the function again lcm of now a value is 2 b value is 3 now temp value is increased to 2 temp value is 2 that is the reason why we have initialized it as static now temp value is 2 check the condition is 2 mod 2 double equal to 0 and 2 mod 3 double equal to 0 the first condition is true and the second condition is false 2 mod 3 so it is not divisible then we are not going to get the remainder as 0 so that is the reason it is false next go to the else part and increment temp value by 1 now temp equal to 3 temp equal to 3 
temp equal to 3. Now let me again uh, go for the function call that is LCM of a comma b that is 2 comma 3. Now LCM of 2 comma 3 temp value is 3. 3 mod 2 double equal to 0 and 3 mod 3 double equal to 0. So first one is false, second one is true. False and true, if the conclusion is false. Next, again go for the else part. Now temp equal to 4, temp equal to 4, LCM of 2 comma 3. Again we are going to call the function. Now check 4 mod 2 double equal to 0, condition is true and 4 mod 3 double equal to 0, condition is false true and false so if part will not be executed next go to the else part again increment temp value by 1 temp equal to 5 lcm of 2 comma 3 is again 5 mod 2 double equal to 0 false so if the first one itself is false the control will not check the next condition and uh, go to the else part temp equal to 6 temp equal to 6 lcm of 2 comma 3 now 2 comma 3 lcm of 2 comma 3 so what is the temp value 6 6 mod 2 double equal to 0 and 6 mod 3 double equal to 0 so here both the conditions are true 6 mod 2 double equal to 0 6 mod 3 double equal to 0 true and true if both the conditions are true then your condition is true. If condition is true, what we need to return? We need to return the temp value. So what is there in temp? 6. That is the reason why we got this result as 6. Once the if condition is executed, then your control directly comes out of this and your program will be stopped. That is why we said if is a base case or a stopping condition, else is a recursive or general case. This is how we got the temp value and this temp value is given to the LCM of a comma b in the place of result the value is stored. Now we are going to print the result as LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. This is what the statement we got it in the last. This is how we can find the LCM of two numbers using recursion.